Hey, hi, this is John Kohout for Amish Survival Secrets, and uh, a few days ago I was showing you my plans for making a ugly drum smoker, and uh, I had some specific ideas about how I was going to use this uh, Weber grill, and uh, actually it's worked out probably better than I thought it would, and it's really, really simple. So I think uh, there may be other people that have come up with this. I haven't found it when I've looked at some of the videos online, but I think I found a way to make a... Uh, one of these ugly drum smokers probably if a guy followed this video you could do it in about, in about an hour and have a ugly drum smoker set up using one of these uh, Weber grills so like I say I got a 55 gallon drum here I bought a uh, uh, a Weber grill for 30 bucks and then um, these are the, some of the pieces to that and then I also bought another uh, grate that has the flip up sides from Home Depot for uh, $18.99 so I'm going to show you here how I put everything together. So one thing that I that I think I came up with that's pretty cool, I took this, this was the bottom of the grill. I cut it off right here using a grinder, and I'll show you where I actually made the cut. If you look right here, you can see that this is how this all came together before, and that's where it all sat in there. So I made that cut, cut that off, and I'm going to show you what I use this for later. And then I took the, the legs off and I just made a straight cut there. And you see how some of, a lot of these guys are putting these uh, things together. And, it, you know, they're great, but they have to make some kind of a, uh, of a basket down here out of metal to put their coal in, charcoal in or their wood in. This, I'm just using the grill that, I, that, that came with Weber, with the Weber grill. So here I'm putting this right in the bottom. You can see the air holes are there and everything. So I haven't used this yet because I just got it done. But I'm thinking I'll just be able to put the charcoal in there. Now, the good news here, too, is that this comes with it, with the old uh, charcoal grill. I'm going to put that in there so I can put my charcoal on there. Everything's all set. So then, for my first, and I'm going to have two levels of uh, grates here. This first grate, very, very simple. Put it right on there. You don't have to do like some of the other guys are doing where they have to put in a some bolts on the side to hold that in. Now, I may I may decide to do that later, but for right now, I think it's going to work just fine. So I've got that level in there. Then I was I was looking at this ring here, and I was saying to myself, how could I use that? So I stuck it up here, upside down, and lo and behold, it fits almost exactly right there. And then I took this grate, stuck it in there, it fits right in there. So, wow, that's pretty cool. Now I don't have to do any um, kind of special uh, changes or anything like that. I realized that there's a possibility that it could fall down. So I just took and put four little self-tapping screws in here, and that provides just enough of a lip that this thing cannot fall down in there. You can see that I'm pushing right down. So when I get my food on there, there's no way that's going down in there. And I've got these flip-up sides here if I need to get down in here to the other food to base it or anything like that. So this is all done here. Um, I've even got this part right here. If I decide I want to do some grilling up here, if I want to put my charcoal at this level right here and have it be up higher so I want to use this more as a charcoal grill, I can do that. I can put my charcoal right on top of this grate and put this on here like that. Um, you could even, I think, if you wanted to, you could take this inside, clean it off a little bit, and if you wanted to put some food in there or something like that, you could do that too. You'd want to make sure that's clean and, you know, heat it up and everything. But what I like about this is I'm using basically every part of the pig, as they, as they say here, every part of that Weber grass grill right now, except, I mean the Weber uh, charcoal grill, is being used except for the wheels. And then here's the top right here. So the top, and I, I made that one cut, I cut the lip, off of this 55 gallon drum and when I do that this 22 and a half uh, um, top for the Weber grill fits right on there I got I got these other guys are having to do things like drill holes in the top and put up their lids since you use this then you've got this extra clipping space so I can get two levels too which I like and this is already made and obviously this is uh, all set up these are the handles from the grill too so I put them on so I've got that all set up got the handles and I've got my uh, I put some holes down here in the bottom so I've got four holes like this 
I may end up being, making them a little bit bigger. We'll see, or I make more holes. I don't know. And then I got, here's my uh, handy little uh, vent cover. So I put that on there. If I want to stop the flow of air, just do that. If I want more, do that. If I want half as much, do that. Uh, I bought these when I was at Home Depot also. There was a, they sell them in a sheet. There's three in a package for about five bucks and they're like six by 10. And, you, and, and so out of the, I, you could probably get 25 of these out of, the, out of what I bought for five bucks. And I got that all done too. So this is really, really simple. I think it's gonna work great. I haven't tried it out yet. Uh, maybe I'll smoke something later today or tomorrow. But I think this is a real simple way to make your ugly drum smoker. The key is get yourself a, a used Weber grill and then you're off to the races. So this is John Coho for Amish Survival Secrets, and I hope you got some good ideas here. Thanks a lot.